We've talked several times about our nonprofit ministry, As You Are Going Ministries, and every year we do a fundraiser banquet, and our auctioneer actually brought up the idea of doing a guest co-host of an episode, and I thought, there's no way somebody's gonna actually want to do that. Hi, I'm Roy. I was wrong. We're in this mess because society's lost sight of what's most important. What matters most to me is my faith and my family. And I know I'm not the only one who believes that way. So we're joining together as God-fearing people to take the light into the darkness. All right, actually, this is my buddy Roy. Roy, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm from Pennsylvania. I'm just south of Pittsburgh. I was looking for a speaker at my church dinner one night, and I just happened to be flipping through channels and saw this show called Final Descent Outdoors. It looked like Brad was looking right at me and said that if you want me to come speak at your dinner, send me an email. He came and spoke at our dinner. We had a great time, and we hit it off, and uh, I think we've been pretty good friends ever since. Yeah, for sure, man. So what really made this actually work out great is that, you know, me and Roy, we've hunted together several times, but he was actually on a hunt with us. You were actually gonna be kind of in an episode anyway. So, Roy, tell us where we're going this week. We are headed to Old Mexico, down to Sonora Premier Outfitters to hunt some mule deer. And cut. Well, you don't actually have to say cut, like, we, he'll, he'll get that part of it. And... But I won the bid. Say cut. Cut. Hopefully it'll be a little warmer in Mexico. This is this is crazy. It is, we don't get a ton of snow, and this is for Oklahoma. This is a ton of snow. All right, here we go. So uh, Adam almost didn't make it. Uh, TSA wasn't a big fan of a shotgun mic. He, uh, he got pulled to the side. I thought for sure it was gonna be full cavity. Kind of cheering for that, but it didn't happen. So we're gonna be grabbing some breakfast and our flight's already delayed. So just hoping we can get out of Oklahoma City and uh, get to Tucson so we can get to Mexico. Wall plug over there, you can plug it over there. That's right. oh. <laughs> I've seen a lot of really cruel, sick jokes in my life. We were actually supposed to meet in Tucson. I, when I left home, it was roughly 70 degrees. When I landed, got off the plane, turned my phone on, I got this text message that says, uh, we're gonna be a little bit delayed. So we didn't actually get to meet up. The plans, as normal when you're hunting, the plans don't normally go as they're supposed to go. So I had to go to camp a little bit before him, get things set up, just played the waiting game at that point. Missed our connecting flight to Tucson, so um, they're waiting on us. We're going to go in here to customer service and see if we can get our flight figured out. But in the meantime, check out some of the highlights from our hunt from last year. It was an awesome time. Wait, wait. Right, 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 right there. Do you want to cross the road? Oh, he's walking back into the trees. Yeah, don't him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Great job, Badger. 
Big old Roman nose. <laughs> Pretty nuts, dude. That's unbelievable. This segment's been brought to you by Vortex Optics with the unlimited, unconditional lifetime warranty. Learn more at vortexoptics.com and by these fine sponsors. This segment's brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras, number one in trail camera technology with unmatched customer service. Learn more at covertscoutingcameras.com and by these fine sponsors. Well, my gun was, I think, the last thing that got off the plane, so it had me a little bit nervous. I thought, oh man, I got, I really need a gun. We made it. Birdie's almost here. We are way later. My son says, uh, Tucum carry. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, no, it's more like uh, Tumacacori. Nailed it. Well, me and Adam finally make it to Old Mexico with Sonora Premier Outfitters, and we're excited to get out and hopefully find us some mule deer. We're headed to our uh, our evening hunt, our first day here. We got a uh, cook, laundry, inter translator. <laughs> Bebe's got all of us, uh, got everything handled for us. So the scenery down there was just beautiful. It was just breathtaking. Something that you just don't see every day. Our cowboy said he saw a big one right in here this morning, riding on his horse. So the first day it was a little bit slow, but we do have a front coming in, so hopefully tomorrow things will be a little bit different. Well, it's day two, and as you can see, we've had some rain. And by some, I mean substantial amount of rain. So look at this soup. Look at this. This is a desert, Rudy. It is. And it's not supposed to rain in the desert, right? Not supposed to, but we're gonna make the best out of the worst. Obviously, it doesn't rain a whole lot in the Sonora Desert, but when it does, it comes fast and furious. Oh, he's... <laughs> it's amazing how fast that rainwater can change the terrain and just wash the roads out. It's just changes things really, really fast. Tell me about the terrain. We've crossed some some uh, ravines here that are a oh, real deal, man. You know, this area's just flash floods. It just doesn't rain very much. I mean, it's a desert. Uh, but when it does, boy, it comes. And uh, there's definitely been some areas that got washed out. Like that. <laughs> like that one right there that we just that. came through. I went ahead and sat down for that one. <laughs> I'm gonna use the excuse that I wanted to get down and we were gonna film you do it, but the real reason is, is I didn't wanna die up top. Honestly, I think you have to be a little bit crazy and a whole lot of brave to drive up and down these ranch roads after a rain. I think you gotta be a little bit of both. A whole lot of both. True. Wow. Come down through this clearing here. Maneuver so I'm back up on that edge. You hug that as much as you can. Yeah, I'm gonna put my tire right on that edge right there. 
which I should be still about a foot away. Keyword is should. This segment has been brought to you by Hunter's Cloak, helping you hide your stink. Learn more at Hunter'sCloak.com and by these fine sponsors. This segment's brought to you by HHA Sports, the leader in single pin technology. Made in America with a lifetime warranty. Learn more at HHASports.com and by Automatic Manhood, the six-week video-based Bible study series from Final Descent Outdoors. Order yours at finaldescentoutdoors.com and by these fine sponsors. So as you can see, Mother Nature really isn't being very nice to us down there, but we sure are eating good. Pepe, what's for dinner? Serrano pizza for you. Serrano's, all right. Chicken fajitas to die for. Well, me and Adam finally spot a group of mule deer going up over a hill, so we decided to climb down and see if we can make a stock. One over the top. Definitely in a, an area where they're here. There's some really fresh droppings right here. Don't, don't do this during the rut. Use a distress bond call and try to get the does to come to that distress call. Hopefully the buck will be with them and he'll just come to. We got close. So day three rolls around and we're gonna take a ride up onto this hill and we're gonna do some glassing. You wanna talk about a view? Oh, it's just gorgeous up there, yeah. All right, we're posted up here um, glass and we've seen a, a small little, little forky. Man, we can see, you can see, I mean, we got an un, Believable view. We can see a long, long, long way up here. We're wrapping up uh, day three here in Sonora, Mexico. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it an evening, but look at this sunset. Isn't this unbelievable? You can't beat this view. It's crazy how fast the weather can change. And I remember waking up and just how cold it was at the beginning of day four. Yeah, we know because you wouldn't shut up about it. Thanks, Roy. It's cold, boys. It's chilly. I get myself situated here. Woo! Woo! It's chilly. But don't worry, folks. I got a pair. It's crazy how quick it can all change. We went from not seeing hardly anything to all of a sudden having a big group of mule deer right in front of us. And there's a round cactus there's a round right on top of the ledge. I see, I see, I see a tip of this one. Is that a good buck? Yeah. So these deer stood there for what seemed like an eternity. The one we were watching would not step out of the brush. But when he did, Brad was ready. This segment's brought to you by Lane Shark and their innovative front-mounted brush cutters. Proudly made in the USA. Learn more at LaneSharkUSA.com and by these fine sponsors.
Now it's time for the Real Avid Tech Tip of the Week. Hey guys, SHOT Show 2019. We're hanging out in the CVA Muzzleloaders booth and I'm with my buddy Tony. Tell me about this brand new gun you guys got here. What's going on, man? And welcome to SHOT Show 2019. This here is the CVA Paramount. It's the first ever bolt action muzzle that we've ever had on the market. It is the only bolt action muzzle on the market that still can ship directly to your house without a FFL transfer. That's so awesome. that, that is a big sale for us right there in itself. Uh, but there are several features of this gun that makes it totally different from anything else on the market. Uh, number one, obviously you can tell the stock is more of a tactical style stock. Uh, adjustable cheek piece, adjust the length of pull back here in the back by taking those plates out of the back. Uh, bolt action. Uh, we manufacture everything on this gun from the butt pad to the tip of the barrel. This is a 700 footprint action, therefore it is a 700 footprint, footprint style trigger assembly that is adjustable for full weight. Uh, this gun here has 1 in 22 twists, so it's super fast. Yeah. Average muzzle velocity is about 2,286 feet per second. Cruise. Wicked fast. All so right. this gun here, we're talking about this gun being a 400 yard muzzle loader. We need to do everything. Say that one more time. Yeah. Four. Four, zero, 400, 400 yard, baby. 400, 400 yard muzzle loader. This is our ramrod. If you notice, nope, it's not broken. This here actually comes apart, goes in your pack. And, so, and this and this is awesome too, right? This game right changer. Here, that is a game changer. The palm the flavor thing about is, is absolutely the best. So guys, if you want more information on the Paramount, go to CVA. This segment is brought to you by Woodhaven Custom Calls. Support our ministry by using promo code Final Descent 10 at checkout. Place your order at WoodhavenCustomCalls.com and by these fine sponsors. So after we stood there for what seemed like an eternity, this buck finally decided to make his step. And when he steps out, Brad is ready for him. Is that a good buck? Yeah. How far is he, Roy? He's at 248. You ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I felt really good about the first shot. I mean, I hit him right where I was aiming. It popped, but he didn't really act like it was hit very hard. So I'll go ahead and rack another one in, and I'm going to have to hit him one more time. I can't believe that buck didn't go down. It did go down into a ravine. We lost sight of him, so we decided it was time to jump out of the truck, and uh, the chase was on. Here you go, I can get him now. Hope it wasn't him. He's got a couple in him. So immediately we jump out of the truck, we start chasing this deer, and Adam immediately runs right into a jumping cactus. And how does Brad respond? Yeah! Bear. Come on, buddy. I love Adam. I mean, he's one of my best friends, but I really need him to kind of suck it up and take one for the team here. Let me try to take them out before you go further. Yeah, well, I'm glad I was there. Me too. <laughs> I'm just sick. I should have made a better shot. Gosh dang it. Uh, he came through here, we think, so. Hey! Hey! You got blood? Oh, yeah. We're tracking blood, we're tracking blood, and then finally, Francisco, our guy, he actually spots our buck, wobbling, he's barely able to stand, and we take off after him. He just went over the fence right here. Give me your camera, man. Go. He's down right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really nice four by four. Wow. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the result of our hunt today out here with uh, Sonora's Premier Outfitters. If you want to come to a hunt like this, man, give them a call. Uh, incredible time. So, buddy, appreciate you, my friend. Great job. Rudy from Sonora's Premier Outfitters really came through for us. It was a dream hunt. It was just a hunt of a lifetime.
And this is this is Rudy. If yep. somebody wanted to come and do this, how would, what's the best way for them to get a hold uh, of you? The best way, Brad, is just uh, log in to our website, uh, sonorospremier.com. All our main info is in there. We highly recommend Rudy. We don't put our stamp of approval on just anybody, but we, we for sure with Rudy. Handles all your paperwork, getting your gun across. He does all that for us, and so it's it's so easy. We'll be back next year. Hey, See you next year, buddy. You come with us. Let's go. Come on. This is a great hunt, I promise you. It was four days of really, really tough hunting. Mother Nature wasn't kind to us, but in the end, we were able to get it done. You know, the desert can be a really unforgiving place. In life, life could feel like a desert. In Psalm 107.35 it says, He turns a desert into pools of water and a parched land into springs of water. Maybe today you're going through what seems like a desert in life, and I want you to know that God is with us through the good and the bad. If you're going through a difficult time, I want you to believe that God can take that desert and actually turn it into an oasis. So today, if we can be encouraging you in any way as you go through a difficult point in your life, we would love to do that. You can go to our website, you can send us an email, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, shoot us a message there, let us know how we can be praying for you and encouraging you through this desert. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next, next week. week. My bid. Okay, folks, we'll see you next week. Bailey's Outdoor Shop is the official taxidermist of Final Descent Outdoors. Closed captioning brought to you by Real Avid. Stuff.